Andrew Christensen visited Palms Nursing Rehabilitation to see how residents there are making do. It's not even summer yet, but Joe Perez, thinking back to when the Palms Nursing and Rehabilitation lost power last summer. It was just so hot that you, you, even having going outside, it was, it was a, little, a little bit cooler than what it was inside. Perez says some have a tough time staying cool. Sometimes you see people out, out here walking around in the, um, you know, on the wheelchair and you can see them where they've been working with a wheelchair trying to get somewhere. They're just sweating a lot. Shirley Fawcett lives at the Palms and says they've experienced power outages during the winter and hurricane seasons. Get that fan and put it right on you. That's all you can do. She says some people went to other places during power outages, but Fawcett waiting patiently. You just have to sit back and grin. <laughs> Wait till it come back on. The Palms says they have backup generators and portable oxygen tanks for residents needing them during an outage. Nurse Melissa Flores says they're trained to attend to those that need oxygen first. Some of them, uh, if they're off like two, three minutes, their oxygen level goes down, you know, quickly. So we try to make sure that they're on continuous, especially those that are continuous, you know, they have to be put on within a couple of minutes. Residents like Perez say, I just keep positive, try to keep positive the whole time. They're keeping their cool during a heat wave. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News. After